Hi friend and welcome to this yoga practice. First find a comfortable seated position onto your mat. We are going to take a few breaths here to land into our practice today. Make sure that you are in a comfortable seated position. Maybe roll back your shoulder and make sure that your shoulder are away from your ears. Maybe put a smile on your face and think about the intention for this practice. Take a deep breath in and exhale through the mouth. Once again, deep breath in and exhale through the mouth. Blink your eyes gently and then come to the top of your mat into a mountain pose. Here you are going to spread wide your toes. Make sure that you tuck your pelvis under and roll your shoulder back. Take a deep breath here. On your next inhale, bring your arms up to the sky and stretch to the right side, feeling the extension onto your left side, back to the center and the same thing on the other side. Keep your feet grounded to the floor when you do this. On your next exhale, cactus your arm and feel the opening in your chest. Bring your arms to the ceiling and cactus your arms again on your next exhale. Clasp your hand in your back and roll your shoulder down. We're going to go do a little stretch for the chest. Option to bring your head back. Coming out of this pose, bring your feet mat distance apart and fold forward, keeping your hands clasped in your back. Add a little bit of movement here. You can bend one knee and the other or come onto your tippy toe. Do whatever feels good. Keep a slight bend in the knees. On your next exhale, release your hands to the floor, the shin or your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, forward fold. Step your feet back and come into a tabletop position. Next inhale, come into a cow position and exhale into a cat position. Round your back and push into your hands. And Inhale, look forward. Exhale, round your back. Repeat this a few times, following your breath. Come into a neutral tabletop position. Tuck your toes and come into a plank pose. You are going to first lift your right leg and bring it to your left elbow. Take it back and bring it to your forehead. And finally, take it back and bring it to your right elbow. Let's repeat this little core circuit on the other side. So, to your right elbow, back to your forehead, and back to your left elbow. Amazing. Now we are going to move into Chaturanga. Option to move to your knees or stick with me for a full Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And on your next exhale, come to your first Downward Facing Dog. Press into your, the palm of your hand and bend your knees. You can pedal your feet here to find movement into your first Downward Facing Dog of this practice. You can play with it and maybe even move your hips from side to side. Do whatever feels good to you. Inhale, three-legged dog with your right leg into the sky and bring your right feet in between your hand at the top of the mat. Lower your left knee and untuck your left foot behind. On your next inhale, sweetly bring your hands up towards the ceiling and cactus your arms on the next exhale. Feel the stretch in your left hip and on the next inhale, place your hand into a prayer at the top of your head. Hook your left elbow onto your right thigh. Revolve low lunge. Inhale, come back into your low lunge and we are going to move into a half split. So straighten through the crown of your head and make sure that you inch at your hip. Come forward into a half split. Take a few breaths here.
come back into your low lunge. Tuck your back toe and straighten your back leg. Come back into downward facing dog on your next exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog with the left leg in the sky. Bring your foot in between your hands at the top of the mat. Lower your right knees and untuck your toes. Breathe in, cactus your arms on the exhale. Another breathe in, cactus your arms. And remember the third one, we put our hand in prayer at the top of our head. Hook our right elbow onto our left thigh. And take a few breaths here in revolve low lunge. Now come back into your low lunge, hands in the sky, and we are going to move into a half split. So extend through the crown of your head and fold at your hips. Feel the stretch in your glutes. Come back into a low lunge, tuck your right foot under, and move back into your downward facing dog. Let's repeat this sequence just a little bit faster. So three-legged dog with the right leg in the sky. Bring your foot in between your hands at the top of your mat. Low lunge. We are going to take just one breath here and cactus our arms. Into the next one, we are going to move into our revolve low lunge. Just for a few breaths here. And we are going to come out and move into our half split stretch fold at the hips next we're going to make a little change here you are going to have the option to come back into a low lunge and grab your left foot with your left arm if this is something that sounds good to you just for an extra stretch for your left hip otherwise you can stay in low lunge and feel the stretch into your left hip as well. Take a few breaths here. Sweetly release your foot, no sting shutting. Bring your hands to the floor and tuck your back foot. Come back into downward facing dog. We are going to do the same thing on the left side. Three legged dog, low lunge. Inhale, arms above your head. Exhale, cactus. Inhale and feel the energy shoot through your fingertips when you bring your arms above your head and cactus it down again. Inhale, revolve low lunge on the exhale. Inhale, come out of this pose so gently and bring your arms again up towards the ceiling, folding into your half split on your next exhale. Once again, you are going to come back into your low lunge with the option of grabbing your right foot with your right hand for an extra stretch into the right hip this time. Otherwise, you can always stay into low lunge and take a few breaths here. You really just have to do what feels good to you. Gently release your back foot and come back into your downward facing dog once again. Take a deep breath here. On your next exhale, look at the top of your mat and you can walk or jump. Halfway lift, exhale forward fold. Inhale, bring your arms at the top of your head and into a mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, bring your arms to the sky and exhale, sit back into a chair pose. Make sure that your weight is in your heels and that your core is engaged here. On your next inhale, you're going to move back into a warrior two. Step your right foot back and make it parallel to the back of your mat. Your front foot is at 90 degree width of the mat. Extend your arms and feel the energy go from fingertips to fingertips. Flip your back end and come into a reverse warrior. Feel the stretch into your left side and come back into warrior two. Extend your front leg and come into a triangle pose. You could always use a block here. On your next exhale, gently come out of triangle pose. And back at the top of your mat into a mountain pose. Take a deep breath, roll back your shoulder here. 
on your next inhale come into a chair pose and we are going to repeat the same thing on the left side so step your left leg to the back of your mat and come into a warrior two make sure that your right knee never go over your right ankle flip your and and come into a reverse warrior on your next exhale come back come out of the pose and move into a triangle pose straighten your front leg extend to the top of your mat and come into triangle pose trikonasana On your next exhale, come out of the pose and back to the top of your mat. Inhale and sweetly bring your arms to the sky, maybe had a little back bend and swine dive to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, forward fold. Inhale and exhale, step at the back of your mat and come into your chaturanga. Upward facing dog on the inhale and exhale downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths here. We're going to move into our peak pose for today, which is camel pose. So on your next exhale, jump to the top of your mat and come into a seated pose. Take one breath here and roll onto your shins to come on your knees now you're gonna put your left hand to your left heel and swipe your arm above your head do the same thing on the right side so and to heel option to look back if that sounds good to you and back to your left heel breathe deeply here there is no rush On your right side take a really deep breath here and move to camel pose if this is into your practice you could always just clasp your end on your back and open your chest or bring your ends to your lower back and just feel the stretch here take a few breaths and gently ever so sweetly come out of the pose my friend and come into a child pose extend your arm to the top of your mat and lay your forehead on your mat for a few breath here bring your arms to the right side and stretch your left side onto the other side so lands on the left side of your mat and finally come back into a neutral child pose with your hand in front of you. We are going to come onto our back. Gently bring your right knee and your left knee to your chest and rock from side to side to massage your lower back. Extend your left leg and bring your right leg toward you you could always use a strap here we're gonna do this a few times just to stretch the glute so extend your leg and gently bring it toward you and extend your leg feel how your right side is now longer than your left side do the same thing on your left side so bring your left knee towards your chest and extend your leg make sure that you are really gentle with your body here extend for the last time and bring it back to the floor we are going to move into Shavasana so bring your palms towards the ceiling you can drop your feet on each side of your mat and just feel how good it feels to take time to move your body today and to connect 
your body, your breath, and your mind. Take a few breaths here. Let your body relax and release any tension before you go on with your day. You can gently, sweetly start to move your fingertips, your toes, come back to where you are and gently move back, roll out of the pose and come into an easy seated position. Bring your right hand to your heart and your left hand onto your belly. Close your eyes here and take a few last breaths in this practice. I am so grateful that you joined me today and let me guide you through this practice. I hope you go on and have an amazing day. Namaste, my friends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that we meet again for your next practice on the mat.